Hey guys, what's up? This is Ryguy Gaming here today with another remastered tutorial, and this is kind of like part two to the other one about the welcome screen GUI, but not really. Today we are going to be doing a loading screen, and I already made it. It's right here. Let me, I just basically worked off of the other tutorial, but I am going to do this tutorial so that you don't have to watch the other one. However, I recommend you do because it will probably make a little bit more sense. But I went ahead and I already made the GUI. This is a label. This is a label. And then inside, just, so I have this, the way I have this set up is it is a screen GUI with a frame inside it. And then inside that I have a local script another frame which acts as this loading bar right here I have this text button which is invisible here let me make it visible so it's right there it closes this and then I have this loading label which just says loading 0% and then I have the title which is kind of obvious so basically and then inside of the loading bar frame I have another text label that is invisible right now because its size is set to 0% but its Y is set to 1 so if I was to like it's still visible it just doesn't have it's doesn't have an X value so if I set its X value to 1 you can see that there actually is something there I just basically am squishing it up against the left side of the screen so that you can't see it which is what you'll want to do to make this script work and speaking of scripts let's go ahead and jump in so here we are inside the script just remember that you need to have this inside the initial frame so or else you'll have to tweak some stuff it won't work like mine but I'll leave this up because it doesn't cover anything so you can see kind of like the layout we have for it. Just remember that you need it directly inside the frame for this to work. So the first thing I do is store the bar inside of a variable which I just get the loading bar which is this frame right here. This frame right here and then I get the bar inside of it the text label inside of it and then the next thing I have is the label which is the loading label and then the last thing I have is the text button that closes this whole thing now I have a wait one which will wait one second before this script actually starts loading just so the player can like load in and everything. You can change this if you want or you can get rid of it. I just put it there just so it, for testing. I don't know if you'll actually need it. But then all we have is a for loop where i equals 0 and it counts to 100. And then it says do. And then we just set the label text to be loading. And then i which will be 0 through 100 progressively percent. And then you tween the bar's size. If you don't know what tweening is, I recommend you go watch the tween tutorial. <laughs> and that will cause the bar to get bigger over time. So to do this, you need a udim2.new. And then you need i divided by 100 for the x scale. The offset is 0. The y scale will be 1. And the y offset will be 0. Then you need out, quad, and point. I have it at point 0.1. This weight and this tween number right here, you will want these to be the same or else it will mess up your loading bar and it won't look right and it will look stupid. So make sure this weight and this value right here are the same. Point 0.1 is honestly a little slow depending on how long you want your player to stare at the loading screen. But it will get the job done I just wanted to have it up for extra effect while I describe this tutorial now after it's done loading there are two things you can do I have commented out this line and which will completely remove the loading screen it will just destroy the whole thing so over here we will completely get rid of this screen GUI 
which will destroy the loading screen as soon as it hits 100. Or you can have the player destroy the loading screen by having that close button I was talking about. And we'll look at that script in a minute. But you just make the close button visible. So let me pull up the close button script. This is what you want to put inside of the close button. So see how, oh, you can't see the close button. But it was that button I showed you that appears at the bottom underneath the loading bar. And inside of that, you're going to want this script, which basically does the same thing. It just destroys the screen GUI. As you can see, you need an extra parent, but it will get rid of it. Whichever way you choose, um, it doesn't really matter. So just to show you that this works, we're going to go ahead and here, sorry, let me get rid of all this crap so we can see it work better. So we'll go ahead and play test this and it will count up to 100 after waiting a second and the bar will tween accordingly and once it reaches 100 like I said mine's a little slow but that's just a test to see that everything looks okay then you can go ahead and push the close button or if you have it set up so that it will close automatically and then you can play like normal the problem here is with how we have it set up just with it in the starter the starter pack and the or sorry the starter GUI it will give it to our player every time we respawn which unless you're making like an RPG where you want it to reload every time you respawn I recommend I don't know I think this would be annoying to have to that's why like MMOs when you die you have to sit through a freaking loading screen every time so <laughs> we are I at least am not going to do that so if you don't want to do that go ahead and take your screen GUI well not yet you're going to want to create a script in workspace by right clicking on workspace going to insert object and going down to script you can't actually see it because it goes beyond my recording but it's down here at least for me it's at the bottom it might be in different spots depending on your screen size but trust me if you go insert and then go down to insert object there will be a script just look for it it's alphabetized and then we are going to first drag our screen GUI into that script we just made. Yours will say script, but I renamed mine to say welcome GUI. And then you're going to want to go into it and disable that local script that handles the loading and everything. So this one. You're going to want to disable it or else it will crash and will never work. Now the actual script is right here. It's very simple. All you're doing is firing the child added event every time a player is added to the game which stores it to this lowercase player variable and then it creates a new variable called GUI which is a clone of the screen GUI inside of the inside of the script and then it parents it to the player's player GUI and then it will enable that script inside the frame that we previously disabled so j for this script to work if you don't want to mess with it you have to make sure that your script is in workspace and then inside your script you have the screen GUI and then inside of that you have a frame and then you can have this pretty much however you want but I recommend making yours look a hierarchy how would you say that hierarched I don't know I would recommend you have yours like look exactly like my tree over here if you don't want to tweak these scripts if you're a little more advanced with script editing go right ahead I'm sure you can figure out like the parenting and stuff but yeah then we just set that disabled value to false which will make the script work once it's inside the player so this will become true once it gets inside the player so just to show you that that's works I'm gonna go ahead and hit play and as you can see we pop in with our loading screen which I still have to do the close button I should have changed it for this demonstration to the just having it go away on its own but yep 
there's the close button and then if I hit escape and reset my character you will see that it will not come back up when I respawn which is what I like because <laughs> I don't want to sit through that loading screen every time but just to show you I am going to show you this that if I just want to have it go away automatically I just comment that out and I can comment oops <laughs> that would work better if I did it at the start of the line if I could find my arrow key there it is so now when I do this and I push play it will go through and once it reaches 100 finally it will disappear by itself I don't have to do anything so yep just some final closing notes make sure it's hierarch like mine if you want to change how long the loading takes inside the local script just change this to a smaller number like 0 0.05 or whatever you want but make sure you change this weight value to be the same so this and this always have to be the same but that's pretty much it for this video guys please leave a like for the effort put in please post a comment down below with any suggestions you might have and if you're new please hit that subscribe button so you can see any future tutorials I come out with and it's been great talking to you guys today and I hope you have a good day goodbye